right, this is my challenge project with Terry and L Spirit Stocking and more. Um, I got this mirror. I don't know if you can see it. Right here. It's from a second hand store. Um, it was eight dollars. And I wanted to do try something. So um, I don't like to finish on it, so I'm gonna try to redo that. Um, and it's it's filthy, but I'm not gonna clean it yet until after um, after I get my the back part done to make sure I don't break it. What I'm using for this project is um, I have rubber gloves, some steel wool, sandpaper, paintbrush. I'm using. I'm gonna try this and see how it works. Um, fingernail polish remover, some glue, and I'm using this paint. It's called ha uh, copper. It's hammered. Um, it makes it look like things are ham are have been hit with a hammer. And paper towels, and I'm using this face that I want to uh, put in it. So, and a screwdriver. I think I mentioned everything. But, I use, I'm using rubber gloves and a mask um, because I'm going to sand it and paint it. Um, if, as long as I don't break it. So I'm going to take this apart. For the frame, I'm just going to um, lightly sand it. everything up so just gonna paint it I don't know if you can see that. See how it looks? Like it's hammered. I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'll do it, probably do one or two more coats. Wow. I'll flip it over. Sure got everything. Wow, that was 
looked really gross. I think I got it clean pretty good, but I'll just re-clean it afterwards. So I'm gonna flip it over and uh, I want to put the picture right in here, but I want to make the mirror look a little antique-ish. I'll put some on here and let it sit for a little bit. Acetone didn't work um, in the nail polish, so I, I tried um, hot vinegar, and that didn't work. I tried the heat gun, um, that didn't work. So I ended up having to get some paint uh, remover. Um, so I'm gonna try that. So I want also want to try to make the whole mirror look kind of antiqued, so it don't look real big. So I'm just going to go over part of it I don't know if this will work or not I sure hope it does get a little more I'm just going to do some odds and ends too. I might need more, I don't know. to get some edges too but I don't know if this is gonna work okay it says to leave it on there for 30 minutes um, so I'm gonna try that and see But like I said, I might not have enough on here. I don't know. I've never done this before. All right. And make sure that you're wearing gloves and stuff if you do this. Let me put the lid back on. I will see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, I went ahead and it's been 30 minutes, but I went ahead and tested this just to see. So I'll probably end up having to do multiple uh, coats. But it is taking it off. 
Um, so I'm just going to scrape what I can off and add more. Well, it's the stuff's coming off. Yeah, it's coming 
up really good. So that's cool. in both hands. Wow, it's coming right up. Or it looks like it is. I don't want it perfect, I just want it um, to look like it's old and worn off. I don't think you need a lot on here. Hopefully this comes out cool. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let me wipe these off so they don't get any worse. And I will start here.
if I got it or not. Yeah. Okay, we'll try that. Ooh. Yeah, that's dirty. Not dirty, really, but the paint thinner or remover stripper. The paint stripper. And then I got some water here and my paintbrush I'm going to make some decoupage mix that up Then I have my picture. I want to put the picture. I, I'm gonna put it this way instead. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this. The green come through. It's already starting to bleed. And put some on the glass. And I'm going to go ahead and put my picture down. Oops, try not to move it a lot. Make sure I got. All the edges down. And the green color is coming through a little bit. That's okay. Oops. Just trying to get all the air bubbles out. green picked up that I can. I'll let that dry overnight and I'll probably put a couple more coats on of the glue or decoupage and hopefully it will come up really good. To you where the glass is clear I want to put something um, behind it. So, and I had these stickers. I don't know if you can see them. There's plants. They're rub offs. And some feathers. Um, so, I'm going to try 
doing it. I tried one just to see, just to make sure um, that it would work, and it does. So I want to cut out a few of them and put them in. I also have, where you go? I got these from Dollar Tree a while ago. Um, I had a, I must have put it somewhere else. I'll find it in a minute. But my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna cut these out. And then I'll change my battery. Okay, I have um, these cut out. You peel them off. Uh, you peel off the back. Whoops. And then wherever you want it. Do it there. You set it down and you gotta transfer it on. You gotta kind of rub really hard to get them to stay. some red but the red didn't for some reason didn't come through so and I want to go ahead and put it back in the frame um, hopefully I don't break it I got the mirror in. Um, now I'm going to put it back together. I had to take some of the um, staples out. see it that's what it looks like I don't know if you can see the um, the leaves and feathers but it came out kind of cool it'll be a nice thing decoration for um, Halloween so I did screw up a few spots here, but that's okay, it still kind of looks spooky. 
So yeah, that's how it came out. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys in the next one.